Welcome back, chat room. We are playing more Tell Me Why today. It's um, it's made by the same developers that made one of the Life is Strange games. I can't remember. It's by um, Don't Nod. But we're playing it for Pride Month because it heavily is based around um, one of the characters, the guy here who's trans. Um, and basically, he was sent to like, I don't know how to explain it because it wasn't like juvie, but it was definitely like a center um, for killing his mother. Basically, the story is that when he was a kid, he cut his hair really short to like, you know, feel more like a guy instead of a girl. And he went to show his mom and his mom pulled a gun on him. And so she, uh, he killed her um, because in like self-defense but they still like send him away to some like, I don't know, some camp thing <clears throat> um, for like troubled teens or whatever. Um, and now him and his twin sister are adults and they're going back to their old house that they used to live in with their mom to like get ready to sell it. But they're discovering that like, maybe that wasn't the whole story. Like, um, like they snoop through her room and they found, uh, they found a book on how to like talk to your transgender child. And so now they're kind of like, what's going on? Like maybe she was supportive. Like maybe, maybe like she wasn't transphobic. So it's really interesting. And also the two characters can apparently talk to each other through their mind. Like they can like talk to each other, like telep they got the twin telepathy. So that's where we left off. So we're trying to like uncover the secrets. Um, I don't know where the audio is going to be at, so if it's bad, let me know. <laughs> yes, it's free on Steam right now for Pride Month. You can go claim it and keep it forever. I have chocolate-covered uh, peanuts. For snacky. What snack do you guys have, chat? What are you snacking on? This is kind of bleak. Okay. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? <laughs> In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Ice cream? Bears and <gasps> disorderlies. So many of you guys have ice cream. And Uncle Eddie can usually cream. handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his Are they Cool Ranch upstairs. the best flavor? Oh, am I her again? Why are we at the hey, cop store? They still got this creepy mask out, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He still is crossing Officer longest Justin officer. Beaver? Oh my god, Officer Justin Beaver! Hold He's on. real. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. What's this? Too little, too late. Unicorn, thank you for 22 months. Happy Pride Month. Thank you. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Oh. Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. <laughs> well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. Do we go in here? How Home come we can home. just walk around? Mm. You spend a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. <laughs> oh. Patient transfer. Dean Becker. Kevin Sutton. It's not very confidential now, is it? <laughs> not now. <laughs> um, patient transfer. 
2015 to all Delos Crossing Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients Dean Becker, Kevin Sun will be transferred to the Fallen Creek Correction Center. Okay. Oh, Gregs, just leaving this out on display again. I mean, we're the Officer one in Griggs. the office. The one who was with us that night. We just walked into yeah, the he's office. Still here. He became a bit of a local <laughs> celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Oh. Oh my God, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't Daddy tell me dog. Got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. <laughs> yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. Who's when daddy did dog? Decide to become an adult? I did. I'm excited for the new Life is Strange. Dude, th this year's going to be really good for gaming. There's so many good games coming out this year. I can't wait. I'm really excited for the new Assassin's Creed. Um, which I haven't been excited for an Assassin's Creed in years. And then Life is Strange. Star Wars looks cool, but it's not, like, on my priority list. Um, Dragon Age? Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Finally. I've been waiting for the new Dragon Age for, like, eight years. And it's finally here. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Ugh. Good year for gaming. Happy birthday. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Mm. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go nuts. It's gonna go crazy. Wait, what does it say? Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Another year to prove that older doesn't really mean wiser. Have a kick ass day, Dee Dee. <laughs> Enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitter 30 year old lady club. Don't waste it, Rosie. Where were these messages for me last year when I turned 29? I can't wait to be a bitter old lady. I think I kind of already am. Every time I say, and another thing, I get a little bit older mentally. <laughs> I get a little more bitter. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. I didn't see her do it. I didn't see her do it. So. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're right. Remember this fella? Oh, I cut no him way. off, sorry. Is that Jet? Yep. <gasps> he, uh... Doggy. He died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh. oh. Damn. Poor D. This is that rule I was talking about. Where you see a dog in a video game, that means it's going to die. <gasps> I can ride something? How do I write something? Draw a dog, wish her happy birthday. Wish her happy birthday. Maybe she won't notice that I- I don't know if I should draw a dog. Yeah, I don't know if I should draw a dog. It's too soon. Too soon. Damn it, it's locked. Well, what did you expect, dum-dum? I have it's the key. Station. I literally have the key. Wait, there's a memory. How do I do the memories again? Is it? Oh, it's holding space. Where is the memory? Maybe it's upstairs. Oh! Holding cell. <gasps> is this Come when on, he got man. taken in? We can't in. make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. Well, find some other place. Oh. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Of course you can. I think um, when people draw Clementine, it makes me really happy. <sighs> Something's in the way. So yeah, of course you can. You don't have to ask for my permission. <laughs> Man, they are never going to catch this guy. What exactly did he do? Mailbox bandit? Stealing from mailboxes. This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. The mailbox That's bandit. Snag a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> Not the washi tape. Uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. 
you know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, <laughs> the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. I laughed. I laughed. Uh, report of theft. Cooper reported his mailbox had been broken into. Cooper said I checked it two days ago because I'm waiting on my new phone. Made me pay extra for shipping to get it here on time, but I said I ain't having that shit. I'm gonna pay what I owe and not a dime more. <laughs> and that's and that's when I says to him, I says, "That's that's not a chum bucket. That's my wife." Who is Toe Down? When I find Toe Down, I'm going to stuff his ass up his own ass. <laughs> Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute Solo and was directed to seek charges with the prosecutor's office. I, I don't think I've ever had, like, an open mailbox. Like, the one time that I lived in a house, um, our mailbox was in the front door. It was one of those like mail slots where you like open it and you slip the mail through and it all falls on the floor. So like, I don't think I've ever had like a, an open mailbox where you just can like open the thing. Like it's, it's always either like a locked locker or that like mail slot thingy. What was my what key do you for? Know? Still locked. Open the male box? Let me know when you get a female box. <laughs> mm. If you steal from inside one of those mail slots, you could steal a house. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad you're on the same page as me. <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm saying. What's the locker I can open with this key? <gasps> oh, not to missing posters. I want to check out everything in the room, but it takes them so long to talk to each other that sometimes I'm like, oh, do I care enough? Can we sneak in here? Hunter, thank you for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Um, we have a sub goal going this month, and resubs are included, by the way. Um, I didn't want it to be only, su only new subs, but... Mm, still um, locked. If we hit 500 before the end of June, we're going to do a, a Desperate Housewives PC game, which I'm really excited for because it looks awful. Hi, Miss Alicia. How Tyler, are you, sunshine? You Good to see you. We got a 99er on the loose. We got a founder in the chat. How you doing, BB? It's good to see you. Uh, Miss Alicia, tell the people, what does it feel I'm like to be stuck here for almost 100 months? Guns and stuff. Understood. Thank you so much for your time. It feels like heaven. Aw. It's good to see you, well, BB. We could find some fire without marrying. Because <laughs> we love you, Mom. Oh, shucks. Stupid. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Well, I have this key. Allison, hey. Oh, it's Eddie. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Did he not Make recognize him? A cup him? Of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? I don't think he recognized him. Eddie is the coffee one that sounded? brought in. The um, machine is in the break room downstairs. What's uh -huh. his name? Tyler. Brought in Tyler after he. Uh, killed his mom. Where's the break room? Armory. Are any of the OG founders still around, Avery? Uh, no, a lot of them haven't been here in years. Um, and I started removing people so that other people could get the founder's badge. But no, I think it's you and uh, Sickness So Pure. I think you guys are like the only two founders that come in like regularly to say hi and stuff, which is fine by the way. I want to say that's, I'm not, 
That's not like a, oh, yeah, Stalin Zopot. Zopot comes by every now and then. Um, but um, that's not a dig at anyone because, like, I've been streaming for almost 10 years now. Like, people come and go and, like, their interests change and stuff. So it's not, like, it's not me being like, yeah, those people don't come around anymore. Uh, they don't support the little guy anymore. Not like that. It's just that things change. Um, but, uh, yeah, we don't get a lot of founders in here. That's why whenever you show up or someone else with a founder's badge shows up, everyone's like, founder! <laughs> founder! Wait, where's the memory? Oh, is it here? I'm standing in it. Oh, is that Eddie? They were so young. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Where is the break room? Which one is the break room? Holding cell? I don't think that's the break room. Ghost. Oh yeah. Long Tran, I think, is kind of done Something streaming. Away. And Niji has two kids. So she's busy. But we love them both all the same. Oh, this is where we just were. Huh? Where are we going? <coughs> Excuse me. We're just gonna sit down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Aww. That's so scary, dude. You okay? Yeah, I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I wouldn't too. Where is the break room? Where am I? And it's dark also. That one's, that was the one that, oh, maybe it's this way. Maybe it's the right one. Thank you for the blessings. No worries, Miss Elysia, we love you. Have a good day. Oh, we did it. Okay, this is the break room. Okay, let's go in. This is where oh, we got a key to someone's locker. Who's locker? Denise? Snooping. Snooping. Yep, it's locked. But we picked up the key. Did we pick up the key from her desk? Ugh, they've let this place get gross. Here we go. We can move this. <laughs> bye bye, privacy. It's fine. They're not real people. This is heavier than I expected. They're just code. <laughs> They're made up of zeros and ones, so it's fine. Can I go back in and pick up the key? Call her Andy because she's snooping. Because it's sitting right there. Can I take. Oh! She won't notice if we borrow this, right? <laughs> 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 Oh, I can put it back too. Okay, so I have to remember to put it back. Because if I don't, then my two characters will explode. Okay. Hey, is this Crazy D's locker? <laughs> you guys are so mean. Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. <laughs> Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but, but we are. You never know where we might find information we about are. that night. I guess so. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? Stop. That's so irresponsible. <laughs> An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. And yeah. who's that intruder? That's goblin intruder. <laughs> yeah, me. New administrative software. Please reset your password with the introduction of our new administrative software. All employees must reset their password. Uh, please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions. Wait, so what's the password? Winner on my 20th birthday? Wait, what? 
What did that say? Winner on my 20th birthday. Hmm. Winner on my 20th birthday. What does that mean? Balto came through. Oh, she has a um she has a calendar on her desk. So Okay, hold on. Let's go see what her birthday is. Snooping. If the password's password, I might actually lose my mind. <laughs> I might actually lose it a little bit. Dude, why? How come? I take my stretch break. I go to the bathroom. I make some tea. I get a snack. I sit down. I'm ready to game for a few hours. And then I have to poop. This happens to me almost every day. I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm all sorted. I ran all my errands. I'm all prepared to like do my little, to do my little streamy and play some video games with my friends. And then I have to take a shit. It happens every time and it's so annoying. <laughs> I should take her out for a birthday drink. Your body's on a schedule. That's true. I'll shit on the next break. It's fine. Okay, so wait. Um, so she's turning 29 and it's 2015. So she was 20 in 2004. I should take so her out for a birthday drink. 2004. Mitch C.V. Dread? Hold on. I got to write this down. Hold on a second. I got to write this down. Hold on. This is serious. She's 38. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mitch C V Tread. Cause if it's twenty fifteen she turns twenty nine, then nine years ago. Wait, no, it would be two thousand six. Cause nine nine wait, no, it's two thousand six. I'm dumb. See, I told you guys I can only do math during May when I'm fundraising. Jeff King Salem. I told you guys. I can't do math unless I'm fundraising. You're fundraising now, though. Yeah, but I'm not, like, paying that much attention to it. I figure, oh, we should do an ad for that. Um, I posted a video today on YouTube, a new dance video, of um, different Pride theme songs in Just Dance Plus. And for the first time ever, I attached a fundraiser to it. Because um, on YouTube, you can do fundraisers now for charity. So I attached a fundraiser for Trans Lifeline. Um, and I made the goal really small. I made it like $1,000 just because I was like, I don't know if anyone's going to donate or not. <laughs> I don't know. Um, real good. Where's the break room? We were just in it. Wait, we should snoop around the break room more before we break into the computer because maybe we'll get caught. And I want to see more stuff in the break room. Man, this place is big. I'm not going in. Um, so if you want to donate... You can. I think it still goes through the PayPal giving fund, so I think it's the exact same as, like, Twitch or whatever. Um, so if you want to donate to Trans Lifeline, um, basically Trans Lifeline is like a crisis hotline for trans people, and all of the people that work there and run Trans Lifeline are trans so that they understand the experience. And then they also have micro-grants. Um, they offer financial aid to people who are looking for help getting money to like change their name legally or get uh, like gender affirming care and stuff. It's really cool. Um, so if you have anything to spare, even five buckaroos, I hope you will donate. I'm not that hungry. I would love to be the person that's like, all ad revenue from this video is going to Trans Lifeline, but I make nothing <laughs> in ad revenue because of the music, so I can't. Oh, coffee. So warm. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much Gustavo, more. thank you for it's 72 months. I missed it. I'm sorry. Easier. Thank you so much. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We what are already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? They lied? Yes, we put the key back. You okay? Honestly, no. 
Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. No, I want to go on the computer. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Oh, what's up there? I can't tell, like, which actions continue the story and which don't. Like, I wish there was, like, a, a signifier that's, like, if you do this, then the story's gonna com continue and you won't be able to explore anymore, because I can't tell. Should I go with him in the room? What is that? Check out this masterpiece. Read it. Uh huh. Oh, it's a little I face. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. <laughs> so you went in here? It's the first time I've been in here since. so uncomfortable he dropped a vase here um, have a seat all right ah, damn it no oh, sorry huh they kept this what it's that vase they glued, they glued it back, it back together. together. So what is every single detail or plot element I'm <laughs> Basically, these are two twins. Um, he is trans, which is important to the story. Um, the story goes that uh, as a kid, when they were both like 10 or whatever, um, he cut his hair really short and went to show his mom and then his mom pulled a gun on him because he didn't like it. Or because she didn't like him cutting his hair that short. Um, and in self-defense, he killed his mom. So now they're much older. They're like 20 or something. I can't remember. I don't know. I'm not paying attention either. But um, uh, now they're starting to discover that like their mom had evidence of like actually like supporting the son, Tyler. And they're trying to figure out what happened because so many people won't talk to them. And they're trying to figure out what happened with their mom to make her pull a gun. Huh. So that's where we're What's at. What's that back there? No we're way. We're snooping. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Collectible? I got another one. Okay. I'm gonna go on the computer and play pinball. Another... Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Thank you, Marky. That's really sweet. Thank Ollie's you so much. Fine, I appreciate honey. it. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's going to be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Oh. No pinball, only PTSD from childhood. Only childhood trauma. Okay. Um, computer quiet. where? Yeah, sorry trying to deal, but it's a lot. In here? Can I come in? Yes! Okay, we Ooh. can try the password. Rose never lets me back here. Huh. Rose left the computer on. New administrative software, password. Talk to Sally Mary if you have questions. Denise. That's Denise. Password, would it be Salem? Ooh. Okay. Damn it. No? Okay, let's try Tread. Damn it. Neither of those? But she's 29. This is so wordle. <laughs> This is so wordle. So it's 2015. 
Where's the birthday card? It's 2015, she turned 29. So nine years ago, it was 2006. No? Or is this old? Maybe this is old. It doesn't say the date on it. I would assume it's 2015 though, no? I should take her out for a birthday drink. Happy birthday, Denise. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to Could see it you be that it Larry completely slipped my mind. Or Maple? I'm gonna try Larry or Maple. Unless they're, are they doing that joke where they're like, haha, you're 29, but she's actually like 50? What did I just say was Larry or Maple? Winner, winner on my 29th birthday. Winner on my 29th birthday. What Whew, is this? That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. Ew. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's Denise. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Bellows Crossing. <gasps> it's not the right user. It's Denise Wilson. That They're both officers. Oh my God, I'm dumb. Okay. Say, okay, hold on. Denise Wilson. Denise Wilson. Her name is Denise Wilson. I got the wrong one. Hee 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 hee. Oh, there she is. Okay, Salem. Bingo. First try. <laughs> First try, you guys. Anything juicy? Just I Denise's just opened work emails. It. When I dare to be powerful, to use my strength in the service of my vision, then it becomes less and less important whether I am afraid. I love that. <laughs> I love that Kayla Bennett just responded being like, can't wait for Friday. Girl, you and me both. Here's my secret for keeping kids' attention. Tales from the detox tank. Last time I told them about how I got into high speed chase with a drunk guy on a snowmobile. DVDs. Miss Reynolds brought a set of keys that she found lying on the ground outside of Vecchi's this morning. Three small keys, a bottle opener, keychain. If anybody comes in looking for them, they're in the lost and found cupboard. I would have filed this properly, but that new administrative software bullshit was down all day. Seriously, whose idea was it to change it? I'd like to invite them to this new two-way rifle range. <laughs> Why would you put that in a company email? <laughs> Don't companies where you work, like, track every keystroke or something <laughs> when you email someone? Oh, Sam. Sam, Sam what Kansby about him? spent the night in the drunk tank again. Maria he got arrested for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Oh. He dozed off pretty quickly once he got to the station, so he should be better by the time you get here. Might have a huge hangover though, so I'd bring him a big ass coffee and donuts if I were you. Okay. Where's the lost and found? I want those keys. Lost and found cupboard. I wanna take those keys. Where is the lost and found cupboard? Where the hell is yet? Maybe it doesn't exist. Does it not exist?
Lost and found cupboard, anybody? Anyone? I wish you could sprint in this game. <laughs> Is it in here? Maybe I can't have it. Okay, let's just go back upstairs then. That's fine. It's lost media. This place is creepy. I don't like it. <laughs> creepy. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. <laughs> They're getting along. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Did she, she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I kind of believe him. I think I, I believe him. I will tell him. you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Why is everyone doing this? We don't really have a choice about that. Yeah, what the fuck? There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something. Why is everyone being like, just, file? A, just file, uh, forget file, your mom, you call kids. It. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. Who that says was about uncle? Me. <laughs> it wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Mm, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Tyler. Tyler's the one going through it, so I'm kinda just gonna tell him whatever. 
Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just not the move on? Inspiring speech. Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. We didn't learn anything coming here. What? Did you guys see that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? It was someone in like a in like a robe breathing. Uh, this is a grim reaper. No. Oh, it's a flashback. Ah. <laughs> Allison! Allison! <laughs> Witch! Witch! What the hell? I'm sorry, I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No, please. Please. Mom, no. Mom, please. No, don't do it. Can I go poop now? <laughs> oh wait, that was chapter one. So, okay, okay, that makes sense. There's more, there's multiple chapters. Oh, oh, we get our decisions. Hold on, hold on. Let me move, let me move myself. One second. Let me move over here. <laughs> Wee. Okay. Tyler and Allison. Allison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. 74% accepted the ring. Really? That's a lot. I was considering saying no. Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. 81% solved the door puzzle. How do you continue the story if you don't finish it? No, this is um, the same developers that made Life is Strange, so it's broken up into chapters. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. 52% chose Tyler's memory. 
This must be hard because you have to choose between whose memory is right, and it's weird. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. Tyler earned Sam's respect. Oh, this is Sam. This is Sam. This is the one that got... Tyler earned Sam's respect by calling him out. Oh. Tessa opened up to the twins about Marianne. Only 47% of people learn the truth? Hi, Mr. Ghost. Thank you for the nine months. Dude, I love, I love analytics. I love this stuff. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. Okay, and? <laughs> Can I help you? What do you want? Okay. I don't want to see the preview because I want to play the next chapter. No, let's watch it. Let's watch so it. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. We are breaking in, hacking. Okay, I'm gonna go pee. Pee. <laughs> I'm gonna go pee for a few minutes. Um, thank you guys for being here. We're gonna take a quick stretch break and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start the next chapter. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. It's really good. It's really, really good. Have a good sleep, star sister. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I had the highlights up when I sat back down with my tea and stuff. And in one of the highlights, I am wearing exactly this outfit. <laughs> this pink top, these green pants, and this fuzzy cardigan that JP got me. Literally, I never changed my clothes. I got back just in time. Welcome back, tell me, my sunshine. I was thinking that, yeah, I literally don't, cause like I buy a lot of clothes for like videos and stuff for Just Dance videos. I never buy clothes for myself. So I wear the same like two outfits every day. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I am a proud outfit repeater, okay? I'm a proud outfit repeater. But I did just drop off because um, I just went through, dude, if none of y'all have done spring cleaning yet, it feels so good. It feels so good. I finally went through my closets of like my dancing clothes and also my normal people clothes. And I tried on clothes that I'm like, I'm pretty sure these are too small for me now. And they're too small and they don't fit. And like clothes that I don't wear anymore. I got rid of five bags of clothes and sent them all to thread up so that whenever they sell those clothes, I can just buy more clothes on thread up. <laughs> But like, I feel so free. Like I don't struggle to get into my closets anymore. It's like so nice and airy and open. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so nice. Dude, spring cleaning is my favorite time of year. Favorite time of year. It's the best feeling. I love it. Okay, um, can I just do continue? Will that just go to the next chapter? <laughs> spring cleaning is the best. Massive garbage bag. I would show you the photo, but it has my address on one of the bags. So. I can't, but huge Once bags. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Crafty goblins. They're little overall. <laughs> crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest while his sister had to stay behind. I still can't believe she killed them all. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. That's crazy. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. I'm so glad they're bringing this up because it's so frustrating that they're like, hey, what happened to our dead mom? This and everyone's like, you should just forget about her. Alone in the woods, trying to discover what is wrong with these people? The oh my God. House. That's insane. I don't blame them for wanting to hack the police. <laughs> 
Because no one, everyone's just like, just forget about your mom, kids. It's not that big of a deal, kids. Just forget about her. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Those Eat ice up. cream scoops are massive! Oh my god! What the hell? Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, <laughs> Me! the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where Aww. she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. <laughs> I won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. <laughs> Sleep well and dream, my doves. What is going on? Because the way they painted her, she was, like, evil. Ollie? Ice cream. <laughs> More ice cream. What a waste. That's a tub of ice cream? Yes. No ice cream goes to waste. <laughs> it's just soup now. Allison! Ollie? I still don't understand how this can be explained. I don't know why she would be holding a gun at her kid. Oh my god. Secrets. Oh, crazy. I don't think it was to kill him either, but why did she, like, walk him down the, the pier and then aim it at him on the pier? <laughs> That's the part where I'm like, huh? What? Such good. Wait, what? Why are they like teenagers? I'm a little confused.
<laughs> Caught his ass. What is going on? Is this a dream? <laughs> it is really trippy. Because here they look like teenagers. like to have a sibling <laughs> or even a twin because I feel like the bond with a twin is even deeper not this <laughs> annoying <laughs> horrendous okay never mind never mind <laughs> maybe being an only child is fine <laughs> hey. you doing all right I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. I don't talk to either of them. Oh. oh not this. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm, that makes sense. Mm. When you get some distance, If we get enough yeah. done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Two gallons? How fast are you gonna put down two gallons of ice cream? Jesus Christ. God damn. Goblin <laughs> face is key. That ice cream. Dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. Oh, this is my way, game. This I is what I just did yesterday with Dan in his morning, garage. But I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. This is my shit. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Crummy table, wobbly chairs, trash. <laughs> I would say donate, but it wasn't an option. This table. Oh, oh, they're using post-it oh, notes God. for trash. That's smart. What's that smell? Oh, uh-oh. Smell. Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell If I got called Stinky Pants, pants Siha, you'd nice. never see my face Let's around go? these parts what again. What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. You'd never see me again. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Don't give us any idea. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember skunk being kind. super impressed by him. And it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. You hungry? We have Catch up. a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those stinky pants, see ha. Ha ha. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Oh, ew. ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -mm. So good. That's, that should be a crime worse than killing your own mom. I'm sorry, eating peanut butter with ranch? That's not a misdemeanor, that's a felon. That's a, that's a felony. Absolutely not. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. 
It's not that heavy. I moved an oven yesterday. It's not that heavy, actually. I moved it and it was fine. I moved it by myself. So. But I go to the gym. <laughs> Ugh. Gross stain is gross. Ugh. What happened? What stain? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting oh. that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. We don't talk about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, at least I didn't leave a stain. We don't talk about that. You, you want a pet chicken, so you take an egg and you put it on the couch and you sit on it. That's really funny. I just started chapter two. <laughs> oh, imagine having a breakfast nook. Dude, this house is ginormous. This is wild. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do. Sore subject. Aww. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Hmm. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. That's so real. At the real. end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. Yay! No more putting a blinder on every morning. No God, more boobies. That fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. Aww. All right. What's your That's verdict, really Ronan? Sweet. You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've That's come. so true. It's not even figuring yourself out that's hard. It's it's having to deal with all the shitty people who are too like close-minded to understand a trans person that sucks. Fish. <laughs> that sucks, man. Oh man. I love this one. Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Was oh, that another memory? What is this? <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. What's a vole? You know, Joel. <laughs> when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. The VA of Tyler is trans IRL, so I'm guessing he had a lot to say from personal experience. Yeah, I hope so. It makes me happy to see them actually hire, like, the people that fit into those roles for acting. Because no one's going to get it better than they will. Like, no one's going to do a better job than they will, considering they've actually lived that experience, you know? Finish your salad first. That's so me. Thank you. Lasagna. Lasagna. Don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Volcano. You're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> and even when figuring yourself out can be a big mess to untangle, it's still better than dealing with those people, for sure. <laughs> Cause at least you know you won't treat yourself the way that they treat you. I don't like, I feel like I've said this a gajillion times. I don't understand people who are like, I don't get the whole trans thing. What's not to understand? You identify one way and then you identify another and you change it. It's not that complicated. It's really not that fucking complicated. What to do with this? And it's also not hard to just like Google it and understand what it is. Like, oh my God. 
Um, sell it. It looks Maybe nice. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Sell it to Habitat, or donate it to Habitat for Humanity. That's what it is. It's, it's literally like, it's like ignorance on purpose. Being like, it's just too hard. And it's like, no, it's not. You just don't want to learn. You just don't like learning. I think that's what scares me about like getting closer to 30. I'm not scared of aging, but I can see, I'm starting to see people my age start to be like, this is too complicated for me. Like I'm starting to see that in my own generation. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no, we're turning into our parents. <laughs> like, that's kind of why I try to like learn new skills and hobbies every year is I want to keep my brain stretchy to like different concepts and learning different things. I don't want to be like, well, this was easier when I was a kid, so I'm just going to keep doing this instead of like adapting. But like, I'm starting to see other, I'm very like early millennial because I think. Gen Z starts in like 95 or 96 and I was born at the end of 94. But I'm starting to see people my age start to be like, well, this is just too complicated for me. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's too hard. And I'm like, no, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you're turning it. You're literally, we are going to be the boomers in like 10 years being like, I don't understand this whole thing. It's too hard. So I'm like, please don't do that. Please keep learning. Please, <laughs> please, I beg of you, be normal. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Allison stole it? What the hell, Allison? And Allison will die for that. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> <laughs> you were just being bratty. Jen A will correct though? us unapologetically. Yes. Dude. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you know, sorry, it. Sorry, I'm going to pause again. You know, how, you know how boomers are like, oh, these millennials don't even know how to buy a house. These millennials don't even know how to write a check or, or, um, or uh, operate a horse and carriage. You know how boomers are like that? I have never seen such an alliance between generations as I have millennials and Gen Z. We're very like, pleasure doing business with you or whatever, <laughs> how do I, <laughs> pleasure doing business with you, sir. Like the worst Gen Z, I, the worst I've ever seen Gen Z talk about millennials is that we're like cringy. Fine by me, because I'd rather be called cringy than be called the generation that like destroyed the housing market <laughs> and, the, and the ice caps, you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> I, I love Gen Z. I am very like, I love those kids. <laughs> I know I'm 29, but I'm like, I love those kids. I love those kids. They're doing good work, those kids. <laughs> I hope we continue our like, our alliance, our truce. I hope we continue our truce because we gotta stick together, man. <laughs> we gotta stick together. Sure. Yeah, I have no problem being called cringy. Because the other option is being called the Allison, person that like ruined the planet. To clean up the coffee table <laughs> three times already. Oh, sorry. Oops. I forgot. My bad. My bad. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Either you crash the All housing right. market, I'll or you have up. a millennial pause Thanks. when you film videos. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I think I'd rather take the millennial pause. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table. Yes. It's cute. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. What the hell is that? <laughs> she loves them and their skibbity toilets. Do Gen Z are like adults. I think I that's really like Gen that Alpha. Armchair. Gen Z are like 18 or like 15 to like late 20s or something. Like old Gen Z is like 27, 28. Oh, sorry. Um, I keep it. Why not? Moo. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean. Gen Alpha are like elementary school kids and toddlers. 
I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No yeah. protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage. From Although the fucking the bear carvings are really cool. Things. Are well, you drunk? Well, then that's it for the living room. You Am are relieved I drunk? from your duties. No. What makes me sound drunk? I'm drunk on life, baby. She's drunk and gay. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. Do I come off as drunk? Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. I have a memory to watch. Your hand is twitching. Huh? My hand is twitching. What? Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. I don't know. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Can talking scare the fish away? You slur your words a little bit, but that's literally when just your accent. Oh, do you mean when I'm like, listen, it's Pride Month, baby. When I'm doing that, like, goofy accent? <laughs> I love doing that stupid accent. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. It's fucking Pride Month. <laughs> no, I'm just talking with a voice. It's no different than when I'm doing the TikTok text-to-speech one, where I'm like, what could I say? Come with me to stream live on Twitch, lol. It's just that. No, it's okay. I just was like, do I come off as drunk? <laughs> stir, stir. This is the best macaroni and cheese casserole, lol. Hey, clean free. <laughs> I'm fucking coming. Oh, this is nice. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Can I have some coffee? You do that so well, <laughs> thank you. It's because I like making fun of people. <laughs> I have some coffee. Would you rather have instant coffee or oh, instant, instant coffee? Hmm. Oh. Nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm -hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? <laughs> Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear Not that? Not the dad jokes. <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Not the dad jokes. Where? Prison. 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 I don't get it. Testosterone. Because he's trans? He takes testosterone? They call it, the kids call it tea. The kids call it tea. I'm an ally. <laughs> Me, I'm an ally. <laughs> I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. Rain on me, rain, rain. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the <laughs> You Who's a trans like ally? Gut. Me! Hear it in the wind! <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. He, she seems right. so Maybe nice. Maybe told the goblins to help the people they hurt instead. Why are there memories of her, like, changing over time? Why don't time? we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. From this chapter, binders, I'm like, she's the stay? mom that I want no to be. Course, love. Like, making riddles and stories and playing with my kids and stuff. Like, that, she seems cool. But in the first like chapter, she seemed like a monster. My dark twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Would a trans woman Think be an E woman? <laughs> yes. We should go take a look. <laughs> yes. I'm more of an E gal myself. What did they just say we should look at? I wasn't listening. <laughs> I hey, wasn't Allison. fucking listening. Oh! It's Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. Aww. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? 
Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And yeah, duh. And she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. What did they say? Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here One's we go. One's probably Sam. Oh, come on. Humor me. One's probably Sam, one's probably Eddie, and one's probably Tess, right? Old Bear was there with his claws so sharp as well as Big Frog prattling away, even the haughty muskrat who also almost never had time for anyone. What's a muskrat? Oh wait, none of these are the muskrat. Okay, we have a moose and a pelican and a bear. The pelican had served from her never emptying beak. The air was filled with winking fairy lights. So maybe the pelican is Tess. Wait, how do I? Oh, I see. Oh yeah, there they are. So, you go here. So Tess is probably the pelican. Sam sounds like he'd be the muskrat if he's not doing anything. <laughs> Tag yourself, I'm the table. <laughs> Who did this? And it's just a kitchen table. <laughs> um, the air was filled with winking fairy lights the moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. Oh, that's probably Sam, because Sam used to do work on the house. So Sam would be, Sam would be the, the, um, moose. Mm, this one. Wait, yeah. <sighs> Poor moose, really didn't do him justice. Hmm, justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one, too bad the law isn't really just. They're D and D players. Hi, Jojo. How you doing? Wait. So. You done? Yeah, I kind of think so. And then there was the bear. Bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry her path, and then the animals led her to Fairy Glen. Should I be looking at another story? The bear and the princess? How do I know when it's right? Is it not right? Hmm, pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. That makes sense, because Tess would lend them money, but then would be like, okay, where's my money? The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. Maybe that's Sam. What about the moose? Where is this memory? Oh, show to Tyler. Okay. I think I got it right. All right. I think I'm done. I think. You sure? Uh, <laughs> no. Now I'm not sure. On second thought, let me just give it a once over. You stumped? If they're saying, if they're saying he was stalking her, that makes me think it's Sam. But from this story, it sounds like the bear is organized by the moose, stalwart and far-sighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp as well as the big frog paddling away. So 
So the bear would be the protector, which means that would be the cop, right? I'm gonna say this yes. I've got I'm gonna it. say this is it. We'll see. I've got it. I've got it. How do you like them apples? I mean, yeah, sure, maybe. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people or this one. Did I get it wrong? Maybe I got it wrong. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. What the hell? The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. <laughs> Maybe I got it wrong. Where is the memory? Oh. You better hurry or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... what's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I don't know. I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! Witch! What is that? I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison. Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. Hmm. That's... That's really sweet. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks. Sam. My, my, how the tables good, yeah. have turned. Good, yeah. Last time we talked to him, he was like, I just don't get all this trans stuff. It's oh, too complicated for before me. Before I forget, <laughs> for the lady of the house. Oh. <laughs> it was your mom's favorite recipe. Mm. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. You. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> but we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the what barn. What was that music for? We'll be right behind you. Joel? But his name is Sam. What do you mean, Joel? Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. Big day, we're getting electricity. Can I come in? So, um, how's school? I graduated already. <laughs> outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies. Aren't they like 21? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know what? Built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she. No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Great. 
What the hell are you doing with our keys? Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. <laughs> well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, fair warning. No. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking Hi, care Isaac of this Candy, place? how are you? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. I don't get it. It's open. Oh, the handle came off. It's fine. We got it open. It's no big deal. Fix. All right. It's that easy. Fuses go into plugs. Should be oh! easy enough. I did this in the maid game. <laughs> I did this. Dryer, water heater, kitchen, outlet lights, generator here, garage. All right, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. I wrapped up your electrical board. I got to run, but in case you want to check it out, thing, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Okay. 15 for garage and then 120 total. Pretty proud of myself for once I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Andrew, thank you so much. Thank you for 79 months. Welcome back, baby. Good to see you. What happened? You okay? Color coding. Mr. Bomb Okay. Wrecked it playing ball. Okay, the garage ball. is the ball last ball? one? What the and fuck college? is this? Best damn pullback around. Well, till. Wait. Till I got hurt. Where's my phone? I need the calculator. Damn. That's rough. Okay. Okay. So 15 plus 15 plus 20 plus 30. That's 80. Where are the other fuses? Hmm. The angle seems to be working Where, just fine. Hold on. Can I go back? That must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Generator, heater, lime. outlet, it's lights, a kitchen. Latch, a so can I put one in the kitchen? <laughs> mm. Oh God, I don't know. Go for margarita right about now. What the margarita. hell? Really? I don't right. know. Sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Oh, but three of them are... Here, hold this. Oh, maybe. Shouldn't we get this cleaned okay. up before maybe we put it back together? I just want to the check two something. gray ones need to hey, be fifteen. Uh, you two got any uh, bear insurance? And then what for? you and your gun are always around. Yellow? Oh, not always. And you oh my god, I don't know. Smarter, oh, I have smarter. multiple of them. We're not getting Oh. So wait. So okay. So so two twenties. So it could be, it could be two fifteen, two twenties, and then one thirty. Can I just put them wherever? There's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Or does it have to be? Damn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these. Wait, so what if it's fifteen the plus fifteen side, and then? So no Sounds like the builder really screwed that up. Twenty plus twenty plus twenty you know, plus watch thirty. Yourself. <gasps> oh, so the red one is 30, right? and, borax? and then the mm -hmm. yellows are 20, I think. Probably ought to blow dry it, too. I usually air out the barn as much as I can, with oil in the spring. Linseed? Hell Yay! No. That oh, called. right, they're color-coded. He literally just said it. Let's try <laughs> this one. <laughs> if pride game, why man? <laughs> That's so true. Hmm? Seems good.
I was born to own a home. <laughs> oh, it's all there. Oh, awkward. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. I have chocolate covered peanuts. I got from the dollar store. They're really yummy. Don't sleep on the dollar store, dude. Bye. Y'all are sleeping on the dollar store. The dollar store's got was that everything. About? He was in love with mom. <gasps> Maybe he's our real dad. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story here. <laughs> I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> the puzzle game on the island with the cute graphics and the dog? Hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-Boy. Which one was that? Wait, which game was that? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Oh, <laughs> that's mean. Well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun right. Remind me to take it down later. Hey there, mm. little buddy. Spider? Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny yeah. one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. They're little guys. What are we going to do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. I'm on Tyler's guest, side. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk? I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Uh, are these all the toys? Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all our toys. Oh. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. It was definitely a while ago, like months. You sailed to different islands and there were puzzles. I don't know, lol, 2D. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounds kind of like Spiritfarer, but that was with a Allison, cat. Do you and know I who haven't this played is? that in a while. 2D. Different islands. I don't remember, I'm sorry. Kate, thank you so much for the 78 months. Welcome back. Toilet paper tubes, thank you. rope, cardboard. Maybe a car, ooh, or a tank. Another gun. I'm sorry, it's too soon. I shouldn't have said that. What who did you find? That? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, that's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown and Marianne. She looks really happy. Basketball, thank you so much for the Can eight I? months. Careful, the glass is thank you. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Uh oh. Are they gonna make me crawl under the house? Illusion Island? Allison, come here. I don't know if I've. Have I ever played Illusion Island? Oh, it's here. Come on, it's gonna get infected. She spilled the wolf pee on her hand. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. She's not gonna make it. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Huh? Look. I had to make that call. What happened? 
What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? <laughs> he was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm going to show you what I remember. Oh, there, this again. By the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! What are they talking about? Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! Ooh. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Oh, I don't know. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. I want to pick that one. Why do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and... Well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look. I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory is a tricky thing. I kind of huh? trust her memory on this one. Because from talking to him, he's never been like that. I think an island was called Coconut Island. There was an island that only had one tree and you had to cut it down to make a boat. It might have been the game you did as a sponsored thing with a boy and a dog stranded on an island. Oh, was it Bilkin's Folly? Oh! Oh my god, I completely forgot about that game. No, we never beat it. I did really enjoy it, though. I wanted to play it on my Steam Deck. Because I was like, this is such a Steam Deck game, not like a PC game. I'm gonna choose... I'm gonna choose mine. Get out. Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. Got in trouble for what? All right. Zay Brown Aww. really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? <laughs> Fuck the trash. It kind of sucks that I can't disagree with him without... without it, like, hurting their relationship. Cause like I can be his sister and like support him, but I can also be like, I don't agree with that memory. Man, you know? I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina, I, I gotta take this. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. What the heck? Where are we? <laughs> J 
to just see what. Yes, I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, Han. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've for your got ugly, a lot going on over crappy here. house, your ugly, crappy murder Did house. I it would be an all cash offer. Oh, it's Zillow. It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Hot take. Huh. I think well, beer's so gross. I think I just made Tina's shit list. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit about Tina. <laughs> the artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. That's a cool oh, take. That Tina. It's so gross. What'd she need? Oh, Nate, she thank you for the five months. I'm so sorry house, I missed it. Thank you. We could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! Oh my god. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Oh. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? This is the sibling thing you guys were talking about. Hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you oh, they're talking the like this? in their you're mind. Really talking inside my head. <laughs> Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Hello? <laughs> oh, it's snowing! Hey, you feeling this? Found you! North Star! Okay. Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay. And don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. Can I say it again? I'm sorry. He's so fine. You're always accusing me of cheating. He's so hot. Because you totally did. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably were like tiny freaks shouting <laughs> nonsense. Well, we were freaks. 
But what that's was that noise? We that was my hot detector. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Yeah, it sounds like they had no friends so, growing up. That's kind of sad. Not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. My edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. What was that sound? Someone saying I was right and apologizing? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was uh, That's a cop, L. <laughs> Hi Adrian. <laughs> Thank you for 95 months. Like How you doing, baby? It's good to see you. Island, but way colder. Oh, it's another sculpture. Is it a dog? It's a dog. Is that the same person? God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. Come on. You're what if their mom place, made it? I'm nowhere near this level. In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall with an ice pick. Uh, I know it's not the best. 95 for years is a long time. I'm super freaked out about rock climbing. Is there anything in here? Hey, look what I found. What now? Oh, Ollie and Allison! Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. Do trees like not grow we over the bark eventually? The kingdom. And it still is. Because that must have been like 10 years All ago. All it needs is a little update. <gasps> TNA! He's using his knife. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then. <clears throat> But I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. <laughs> That's so sweet. So sweet. Okay. I think I'm going to end here. I'm getting a haircut today, but my haircut's at five o'clock and it's a weekday. So I want to leave early to make sure I get there on time because I don't want to get stuck in traffic. So I think I'm going to end here.